Hi, this is Shadi and today we're going to be talking about the scissor sweep and this example that you saw at the beginning of the video and you can hear the pop and this is something that is just incredibly dangerous and it's one of those takedowns or banned techniques in judo that personally I would not die on the hill for so uh, I would give Ashigarami a second chance in judo and not Kanyubasami because of the option that you have to tap out is immense people need to understand this because when you give someone the option to tap out you are actually giving them a lot of respect actually nobody gets hurt and nobody uh, is harmed but Kanye Basami is incredibly destructive and reckless in my opinion so here let's take a look again at the example and he he was fainting like a as if he was shooting then clinches the upper body let's see it again and then goes to the side he's uh, he looks to be heavier than the other guy but because of the clinch of the upper body uh he goes all the way to one side i'm talking about okay and that's where all the tension and the pressure happens on both the knee and the ankle and it seems here that it's an ankle injury luckily so it can either be on the ankle or the knee so here let's take a look at a recent uh, judo example it happened by mistake uh, with olympic champion fabio basile let's see it here luckily for the german igor fabio actually let go of the upper body and not only that but the igor sat down correctly he collapsed with it and split his legs um I had recently a podcast with uh, Vlad Kulikov and he says Kani Basami in order for it to be done safely it should be a good reaction from Uke and good execution from Tori so if one is wrong it's it's gonna go down horribly so here it's also another great example from the 1980 uh, here how Yasuhiro Yamashita plants down and makes things even actually worse another recent example uh done by ubasar with the spaniard the dutch girl's knee is gone she posted i believe on social media that uh, she operated her knee it's an acl and just like that it's gone and that's why this is something that i would never advocate for because you're giving them no option a lot of things can go wrong and a lot of people don't even know how to actually do kanyu basami like that uh, jujitsu guy with the no gi um he just went in there it was incredibly reckless and you're not giving someone the option to tap out and that in my opinion takes a lot from that uh, technique so let's take a look at ashigami which is uh, a technique that was even banned well before kani basami from 1916 i believe and in my opinion there's a lot more mercy to it because of the option to tap out the same with heel hooks everyone talks about heel hooks and how they're dangerous but it's the same uh, when you can actually leave uh, an option to tap out. Um, it's a lot better, in my opinion. So here you can see the Ashigami. You do what is called knee reaping. And from there, you extend your leg and pull on the sleeve, um, putting pressure on the MCL. And from there, it can be progressive. And that's the key word, progressive. Uh, and that's why it leaves an option. So... Are there people that are gonna be doing submissions recklessly of course but as you get better with age maturity your level you know that it's not about how hard you yank the submission but it's all about the trapping uh, movement you leave them no choice some people and i'm sure it happened with you that once you even free the hand for juji gatame they already tap out without even the extension so that's how helpless uh, they've become and that's the correct way to do a submission whenever i get someone in jujigatame this way even before i extend the arm everything is strapped tightly and they tap out this is the best way to do a submission in my opinion because first you left them no choice technically you're superior and two they realize this and three everybody went home safe uh, that day so uh, with kani wasami there's no such thing um Vlad Kulikov says uh, during our talk, and I'll post it uh, very soon on this channel. It was a very long talk. Um, he says it's the one technique that I would not allow because it is reckless. It is, uh, it leaves no option, and, and and that's the problem. It is 
it, it's the lack of option is that flying weight on your knee and ankle and it just sends it uh, shattering so um, does any of you have any experience with Kani Basami uh, maybe good maybe bad uh, a lot of people said I used to do it all the time but seeing this footage now I say no and uh, I tend to agree so again this is the one technique that I would never bring back to competition um, simply for the recklessness and the lack of consideration to Uke. Again, he's not your enemy, he's your training partner, even in competition. So, if you have anything else to add, please let me know down below. This was Shadi, and thank you for listening.